Hi, it's Dr. Janet Pope, a room reporter at Room Now. I'd like to talk about whether or not we should do labs on RA patients who are taking upadacitinib. And I guess the question is, are they on monotherapy or combination therapy? So I'm going to concentrate mostly on patients who were combination therapy upadacitinib, 15 milligrams once a day, compared to adalimumab, 40 milligrams every other day, added to methotrexate. And this is um, the oral presentation 128 at ULAR 2021. And what this is, is a compilation of six randomized controlled trials, again, comparing methotrexate monotherapy with a placebo added, upadacitinib, 15 milligrams added to methotrexate or adalimumab. And obviously not all of the six RCTs had an adalimumab arm. So what the investigators did was they looked at grade three and four abnormalities on labs. And these are standardized definitions. Now to know not every patient with a grade three abnormality needs to even hold drugs and a grade four abnormality, you might only transiently hold a drug. But with that in mind, grade three or four cytopenias, and by this, I mean lymphopenia and neutropenia and transaminitis by elevated AST were elevated more commonly on upadacitinib patients than adalimumab patients. Now, in fairness, the rates were very low, but sometimes about doubled on upadacitinib, 15 milligrams a day compared to adalimumab. I'm going to ignore the arm of upadacitinib, 30 milligrams a day that had more um, at lab abnormalities and more grade three and four lab abnormalities because we don't use that dose. Now, interestingly, creatinine was not increased more on upadacitinib than adalimumab. So, most events were uncommon. The treatment emergent adverse events of the lab abnormalities, a little bit higher on upadacitinib than adalimumab, all low rates. What's the take home? I think it's important that if a patient's on a JAK inhibitor, such as upadacitinib, that we should be doing lab variables now and then. The product monograph often says, look at the white count, the differential, the hemoglobin, the platelet count, know what the creatinine is, follow some liver enzymes, and at some point along the way, check the lipids to see if they're having lipid abnormalities. This abstract didn't address checking the lipids. So I think the take home is for us, do labs when a patient's on a JAK inhibitor, but lab abnormalities that are serious or causing discontinuation of medications with JAK inhibitors and rheumatoid arthritis added to methotrexate are very uncommon. So follow us at Room Now, and if you have questions or comments, please make them. Thank you.